In this video, we're going to be using a cool and brand new tool to create some awesome action-packed practical effects in our toy photography. So practical effects is basically just a glorified way of saying kicking around a bunch of dirt to make your toys look cool in a picture. Yes, but it's still really cool and it's a really approachable and easy way for literally anybody to take toys and create cool cinematic action packed looking photos. It's amazing. So there's kind of like three ways that are typically done a lot in toy photography and things that I do. And one of them is with this thing right here. This is a, you know, it's a drain gun blaster. And you've probably seen me use this before several times. And so really all it does is just kick up a bunch of air. So you can take this thing, pump it up, and it'll shoot out a ton of air. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> so yeah, this thing is awesome and it's very powerful, but it's not particularly good for being super precise for small little areas, uh, but it is very powerful, that's for sure. There's also things like canned air, like computer keyboard dusters, which are really cool. And you know, they just kind of shoot out some air. These are cool and they are precise, but these run out pretty quickly and they're not super cheap. Of course, you've got your old classic mitts, your hands, you can kick around lots of dirt and water that way, which is really cool. But like before, it's not very precise and you're gonna get your hands dirty or wet or, you know, anything like that. So a whole new thing is this right here. And this is called the BB Nano from Nightcore. And basically all it is, is just like a little air blower. Like, check it out. So make sure to head to the link in the description of this video so you can see all the great stuff Nightcore has, like the BB Nano, tons of different photo gear, lighting, rigs, all kinds of stuff. So definitely just head to the link I have right in the description of this video. And Nightcore, thank you so much for sending this over. So there are a couple different ways to use this thing. Number one is if you just hold the button down, it's going to just blow some air and then eventually get stronger the longer you hold it. This is gonna be a messy video, I'm, I'm, I can see it right now. Also, if you double click on it, it'll continuously blow air, and then you click on it again, it'll continuously blow air stronger. Yeah, this is definitely a messy video. <laughs> and it's got this handy little attachment where you can switch it out, and you've got a little bit more range, a little bit more length, and probably a little bit more accuracy as well, which is pretty cool, and plus, if you take a straw, you can stick it right in there, and you've got even more length and all that stuff, which is pretty great. See, like, let's check it out. Okay, hopefully this is the last time I actually have to do this. So overall, I, th I think this thing's really cool. I think it has the precision. It's strong enough to get the job done. I don't have to refill any cans. It's cute and compact. I can very easily bring it with me and keep it in my bag. Plus, what I also can do with this is, if, you know, when I'm making practical effects, my figures are gonna get dirty, so I can blow some air off and blow off the figures, clean them up, get some dirt out of the joints, you know, which is great. Like, this is just a cool thing to have. Okay, so let's go and actually test this thing out. I wanna try this outside first with some dirt and see how that goes. I've got a shot idea with this guy right here, and then I'm gonna take another shot uh, inside too as well. So, I've got the Master Chief down here in just kind of a cool action looking pose. Got the sun behind him. The so lighting looks cool. I got a little bit of mossy stuff over here. And so I put a little pile of nice dry little debris right there that I'm gonna use to try and kick up and make it look like there's a little bit of action going on. Of course, I've got my light reflector to bounce some extra light over here. So I've got my uh, shutter speed at a thousand right now. So. Uh, you know, faster shutter speed is perfect for practical effects because I'm gonna have moving particles. The faster my camera is moving, the faster I can pick up these fast particles. F-stop is at 2.5 and my ISO is at 400, like, like usual. So uh, what I'm gonna do is really just hold down the trigger, take some fast shots like this.
So honestly, I think this worked really well um, outside. Like I said, it was very precise and it's just enough amount of debris and dirt going on that really sells the motion and the action of Master Chief is doing some type of cool action-packed motion pose that's causing things to happen, you know? It's, so it's certainly selling the, the action of the photo. And this thing did great with that. I'm, I, I think it came out great. Okay, so I've got another idea too with this guy in here. So let's go and get that set up. All right, well, check it out. This is what I've got going on here. Superman is gonna use his very powerful breath to blow some water onto my plant. He's gonna water my plant for me by doing that. How nice of him. And actually, so using this will be perfect for that. The photo itself looks pretty cool so far. It's a little dark, but it's got a fast enough shutter speed with 64, 640, which I think will do pretty good. Uh, I might use the straw, actually, to get that more length. And I'm just gonna hold down the trigger, hopefully get a cool shot where it looks like he's blowing the water into my plant. So yeah, let's go for it. So as a whole, I think this thing is really cool and I don't think I would have been able to get this last shot without this thing, which is hon honestly really cool and I really kind of recommend this. I was not expecting to love this as much as I do. So I would just recommend going to the Nightcore website, which I have right here in the description of the video and uh, looking at what they've got and taking a look at this thing. I actually legitimately think that you'll be able to get some really cool toy photography with this thing specifically. Yeah, I fully endorse it. Thank you so much, Nightcore. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you so much for watching.